This is the Spectral Devastator Phil 3 from Future Sound Systems. The Phil 3 is the successor to the Phil 2, which was originally an independent high pass and low pass filter. And the Phil 3 is much the same, but adds these new controls of color, blast, uh, drive and level per filter. We've also made the cutoff CV attenuvertible, so you can invert incoming control voltages for the cutoff. So let's give you some sine wave through both the high pass into the low pass. And this is coming in through the normaling switch here. So you can hear that high passing that sine wave is pretty brutal and dirty. Also quite steep. And the same with the low pass. You get all of that interesting crunch there. So I can start bringing up the resonance on both. And you can hear that that's already pretty driven. It's worth saying that the resonance will increase the gain of the filter core. All the way to oscillation. And you can hear the high pass oscillating at quite a low frequency. to some degree of normality. Okay, so let's get the filters modulated. I've got a uh, TG2 over here, the Gristalizer Generator. I'll take the ramp output first into the cutoff of the high pass and just get that sweeping back and forth. And at high frequency. same to the low pass. Whilst that's being swept at audio rate, let's change the colour. So you'll hear that on the low pass, it's got a real kind of control over the resonance path, and if we bring the colour back and forth on the high pass, you can hear a similar kind of thing. Okay, so now let's listen to something a bit more harmonically complicated going into the input. So I've got this MFB DCO over here, and let's just listen to a sawtooth coming from that through the two filters. Tame the low pass a little bit. modulate all of that, so take some sources from the TG2 again. Let's take those cutoff modulations and put them into the colour of each filter now. Max out the CV. And 
you'll hear that that's having quite an effect on the resonance of both filters again. And other audio rate. Listen to both filters in stereo. What happens if we listen to So there you can hear that it really is quite a uh, dramatic filter. You can get some very, very interesting textures from very little kind of uh, input signal at all, really. Going back to a sine wave, let's try some audio rate modulation on this. Introduce the MFB as a modulator. So that's just a little introduction to what the Spectral Devastator can do with a handful of modules to create really interesting distorted textures.